We are now joined by Danielle Kelly, one of the hottest submission grapplers in one championship right now. Danielle, you don't look particularly happy. Uh, how, how, what can you talk about your, you know, what can you say about your performance? I mean, I'm proud of it. I'm literally 10, 15 pounds lighter than her. Um, you know, I agreed to fight at catch weight with her and she's really good, strong. The rules were a little confusing because, you know, I was engaging the whole time and she kept stepping away because um, she didn't want to, my ground game is better. Um, but she kept, I knew what she kept doing because she kept getting that headlock with the arm bar. But me and my coaches, we just kept doing that uh, position, um, putting myself in literally the same uh, position that she's really good at. And, you know, I kept trying to take her back. I kept attacking her neck. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm obviously disappointed. Like, I, I really tried to submit her, but, you know, she's really strong and really good. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was fun. All right. You mentioned the weight, right? Uh, that she obviously was the heavier fighter. That's why you had to, uh, to accept this catch weight, but did she really have a strength advantage in there when you, when you were grappling with her? What, what was it like, uh, to, to roll with her? Yeah. I mean, I, all my training partners, like they're mostly heavier than me, but I feel like it's a, di it's really different because you're in like the circle or ring and she fights and I train with a lot of like MMA fighters and they have like similar strengths and her strength is her judo background. And every time she gets in that position, she just trained it like a hundred times. So um, she was really able to just get there and just kind of just keep stay at her base. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, she's really good at what she does, but I kept countering, I kept attacking her. So yeah, decision was decision. All right. So you know, uh, Ayaka has this this signature move. Uh, she calls it the Ayaka lock. Uh, and I know that, and you know, in training, you mentioned before that you had prepared for that particular um, submission. She got you a couple of times in that in that position. Um, how did it feel in there? Was she really good with it? Um, how good of a grappler was Ayaka Mariora? I've been drilling since my last Samo match. I've been drilling like a lot of uh, armbar escapes and like locks like that, and. Um... She would go for it, but the, I think the most, like, annoying or, I guess, like, hurting thing was she would squeeze my neck or my head. My arm was my arm was pretty flexible, so every time I just kept turning my elbow down, she would just kind of extend this, or uh, like, in my elbow. Um, but, yeah, I think the only thing that was really annoying was my head was getting squeezed, and, like, it was her hip and her arm on my head squeezing, so that wasn't fun. So I felt that a lot. Um, but, yeah, my arm was fine. I'm just really dead. <laughs> All right. For a moment there, she did appear like she was uh, um almost gonna get the arm. Um, so you you, you say that uh, that arm was safe. Yes. All right. Good. So you know that's definitely, in my opinion, uh, I don't know if you share the same opinion, but that definitely looked like your toughest fight, um, in one championship. Uh, where would you rank Ayakamura among the opponents that you have faced so far? Um, I mean. I guess I rank her higher, but I guess I'm number one so far. Then May would be number two. They're both pretty tough. I mean, at least you know Yako is kind of engaging, not really, but May wasn't really engaging the first time. Um, yeah, I think I think out of the whole whole thing, I think the rules kind of shocked me because I kept being resetted when I was engaging. All right, there's a huge difference in this one um, from your previous grappling matches in one championship this one took place in the ring um did that play a huge factor for you in this performance i think the ring kind of helped because it was kind of bouncy and uh, whenever like she would get me in position and i would go against the ring uh you know i kind of just kept pushing my weight to the ring so i can try to get in her, her back or a better position on her um but i know she's competed in the ring uh before you know, i don't know once or twice so i knew she uh, had that experience over me yeah, talk about that ring for a moment now. That is one of the most iconic uh, venues in in Bangkok, in Thailand, in the whole of Thailand. How did it feel to to compete in such a historic stadium? It was pretty. It was a great experience. I guess my first time here uh, in Thailand and my first time competing in a ring, especially like for jiu-jitsu. Um, yeah, it was really new. I I wanted the experience. Um, it felt really old school. I know there's like a historical, uh, historic event here um, for over the years. It was really, 
I'm really grateful to compete in some in something so historic and uh, really popular um, and get to showcase jiu-jitsu and being the first women's jiu-jitsu match. All right. And the, at the end there, uh, Mitch Chilson uh, asked you what you wanted next. You called for a title shot. Uh, do you think after three victories uh, in one championship, it's ready? It's already time for you to uh, to inaugurate uh, maybe an atom weight submission grappling world champion for one championship? Uh, yes. I mean, I, if I'm going to go for the title, I want it to be my weight class. Um, you know, I, I feel like I, you know, I, I already had three matches under one championship and I would like to see whoever I'm competing against. I don't know if they have already competed in one championship or, you know, if it's a jiu-jitsu person, especially. Um, I'd like to see them compete once or maybe twice or once just to um have just to have them get experience and uh we compete for the title. You mentioned an interesting name there um for your post fight interview. Who uh, put it on record? Who who's who's next for you? Who do you want next? I message uh I mentioned Jessa just because I know she signed the one. Um I haven't seen her compete yet for one championship, so I would like to see that uh if we're gonna compete for the title. Um you know, I had history with her like about two years ago and I felt like I wasn't really, you know, 100%. And I feel like, you know, compete with other jiu-jitsu people, it's what I'm used to. We're more like flowy um, and we're like the same weight. So, uh, you know, I'm really motivated to get that because I've been working uh, really hard um, to get that match and uh, work hard on my uh, myself. You've been, uh, yeah, you've been talking about um, matching up with Jessa in one championship for, for a while now. Uh, how important is it for you to to get that one back? Um, it's really important, and you know, I want to prove myself that you know I I've, I've gotten better, and um, you know, I I uh I just want to prove myself, you know, and and I want that one back. You know, it it's kind of like it's um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just I really want that one back. That's all I can say. Um, and just prove myself that I belong here, and you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna win that title. All right. You know, a lot of people um, have also been talking about or have been, you know, interested to see you maybe possibly transition to MMA. But you did also mention that you wanted to be like uh, perhaps like Gordon Ryan and grow BJJ further um, as opposed to MMA. Uh, what what do you need to do in one championship to ensure that the, the sport of BJJ continues to grow? Uh, I think if I just keep performing my best and growing the sport and the sport's getting popular, just as, just like MMA, if it's um, as popular as MMA, I think, um, you know, I think it, a lot of the athletes can be well off or just compete in jiu-jitsu. Um, as far as MMA talk, I, uh, I've i been just focusing on jiu-jitsu. I'm not pressured to do MMA right now. Um, you know, I, I think I want to... Uh, I want to accomplish something in jiu-jitsu first, put my name out there, and then I'll talk to my team and the coaches whenever uh, I want to fight. But right now, it's just jiu-jitsu. All right. Well, the future of submission grappling in one championship seems bright with, with you know, huge names like Cade Rotolo, Ty Rotolo, and Danielle Kelly competing um, in the ranks. But, um, yeah, does that add a little bit of pressure on you? Uh, because you're in such a unique position to really bring submission grappling into the mainstream? I wouldn't say pressure, but, you know, be with the names along with like Mikey, Cade, DeRitolo, um, Gary also, I know he's competed in, in jiu-jitsu. Um, you know, I, I think that would definitely put like a lot of respect in my knee. I think that would put a lot of, uh, you know, attention on, into jiu-jitsu and, you know, people see how hard, uh, you know, the athletes work, work hard at, and, um, you know, just being in, in that same category with them, you know, would, would be a huge accomplishment because they're really, really good. Um, you know, Cade Rotolo is a ADCC champion, one of like the, one of the toughest tournaments. Um, yeah. So I, I think my, uh, goal is to, you know, I'm going to be the face of like smaller women's jujitsu, you know, hopefully compete for 105 title, um, if that's possible or 115, um, yeah, you know, just after the match, I'm like 113 right now. <laughs> great, great. All right. So one championship is just a few months away from its uh, U.S. <laughs> debut in Colorado. That's going to be exciting. Um, are you looking forward to uh, potentially competing on that court? Or if, if not, are you at least going to be attending? Uh, if, 
they if I'm offered to attend, I would love to. You know, I want to be a part of the first U.S. card for under one championship. Um, but it would be it would be really cool and enjoy mine if I competed on that card in the U.S. But I mean, if not May, then hopefully the next one, whenever one championship um has their U, another next U.S. card. How would you describe a one championship event, a live one championship event to uh, American fans? How do I describe? Um, phenomenal, uh, historic, um, or historical, um, huge, like huge event. Um, I think, I think it would draw a lot. I think it would draw a lot of, uh, American uh, viewers and attention. I think it would be huge, you know, cause, um, just with the timing difference, like we have to get up early, like at like 4 AM to compete and when we're home, we'll just compete at this, our usual timing. Um, and our friends and family, um, can actually attend the event. Are there any particular fights you're looking forward to seeing from that card? I know Sage Norcutt is competing or he's fighting. So that's that's like one of them because I know he's been out for like three or four years. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to uh, watching Stamp. I'm looking forward to watching DJ again. Um, oh, and also uh, the grappling matches. You know, uh, I know, I think uh, Mikey or um, I think Mikey is competing, but there's another grappling match. I think it's... Uh, Cade or Ty against uh Riz, uh the one the MMA fighter guy I don't know is I can't pronounce the names but I'm really looking forward I think it's a huge card I'm looking I'm probably looking forward to like every fight. All right, what's next for you now uh, after this you know grueling submission grappling match? You're in Thailand now for the first time. Do you have any plans of like exploring the country a little bit after your after your fight? Uh, definitely go back just to watch my match. You know, I like to study a little bit. Um. Obviously, I'm not too happy. Like, I really try to go for the submission. So, you know, I'm going to be kind of hard on myself. But um, I might go explore. But I have to go back to my hotel and pack and clean. Um, and then I'm looking forward to going home to my dogs. All right. Well, it was a pleasure watching you compete once again. Thank you very much for your time here today. And congratulations. Thank you so much.